At a time when the partisan divide in Washington seems wider than ever, one thing I consistently hear as I talk to our neighbors in Bucks and Montgomery counties, including Republicans, Democrats, and Independents, is that the government wastes money. It's time to give the federal government a good trim to root out and get rid of excessive spending, waste, and abuse on the taxpayer's dime. Your tax dollars fund the government, and I believe it's my job to make sure it's doing the best that it can for you, to make sure that every dollar you send to Washington returns a dollar back to you. And I'm not alone in this. Working with the bipartisan No Labels organization has allowed me to talk to and to team up with like-minded leaders from both parties to find things that we can agree on like cut, cutting government waste. Earlier this year, I worked with Representative Sherry Bustos from Illinois, a proud Democrat, to introduce the Government Waste Reduction Act that would reduce unnecessary duplicative government services. It would eliminate waste and save hard-earned taxpayer dollars, while also protecting the crucial programs upon which our neighbors rely. In the same vein, I've worked with Georgia Democrat John Barrow to introduce the Stay in Place Cut the Waste Act, which would trim $5 billion from federal travel budgets by simply replacing half of the agency trips with video conferencing. It's a common sense, money-saving idea that's already taken root in the private sector and has garnered over 30 bipartisan co-sponsors in the House. This week, the House considered a package of bills to stop government abuse. Bills as simple as protecting taxpayer rights, limiting big bonuses for government bureaucrats, and shining a light on lavish government conferences that waste your hard-earned money. I'm proud to be part of the solution when it comes to cutting government waste, be it through organizations like No Labels or simply just reaching across the aisle to support common sense legislation. It's important to me as your congressman to get Washington back to working for you. You can learn more about these bills and other work that I'm doing for Bucks and Montgomery counties in the nation's capital by following me on Facebook at facebook.com slash repfitzpatrick or visiting my website at fitzpatrick.house.gov. Thank you.